An audit released today found taxpayers lost out of $36 million, all because of how some of New Mexico's behavioral health providers operate. News 13's Kayla Ayers is in the Newsplex to explain. Well, Kim, the state kept the audit under wraps for a year and a half, and a lot of people weren't happy about that. State Attorney General Hector Baldera says releasing it shows fraud investigations need to be done differently. $36 million in overpayments over three years. The June 2013 audit that focused on 15 behavioral health providers in New Mexico found widespread issues, including problems in billing processes and poor documentation. The audit sparked allegations state Medicaid funding was mishandled, prompting Governor Martinez's administration to freeze Medicaid payments while the AG's office investigates. I believe citizens uh, may have suffered by lack of services. This process into the behavioral health investigation has taken too long. Attorney General Hector Balderas says investigations into three out of the 15 providers have wrapped up. Balderas says in order to expedite the remaining investigations and complete them in the next eight months, he's asking the legislature to shift $1 million within the AG's budget. We still have to complete uh, 12 investigations but we need additional resources and we're asking the governor and New Mexico legislature to help us with this investigation. Balderas says the investigation into these 15 providers is just the tip of the iceberg. My review found that um, our Medicaid fraud unit has nearly 350 active cases. Balderas says he wants to change the way Medicaid fraud allegations are investigated by creating a task force on the issue and increasing transparency. Baldera says the office's investigation into a Santa Fe and an Alamogordo provider cleared both of fraud. He said the results of the third investigation that's wrapped up will be released soon. Any criminal activity uncovered in their investigations will go to a grand jury. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Kayla. Now, a spokesperson for the Human Services Department says that a contractor's report in 2012 identifying rampant overbilling sparked the lengthy audit. You can read the full audit on krqe.com. Two Santa Fe police.